Hello and welcome. Uh, this reading is for Sagittarius. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And also for a limited time only, I have spiritual stage ones that are now available in my shop for a limited time. And so this is what the uh, Sage One looks like. Okay, so um, I only make this maybe twice a year, and these are one of those times. And uh, so far, I believe I only have a 10 of these left in my shop. And so once those 10s are gone, then uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I've already sold uh, whatever I had uh, in the previous couple of days uh, of what I made. And so I only have 10 of these left. These are limited edition uh, spiritual sage wands. And um, uh, there is spiritual tobacco uh, that is, uh, you know, kind of like sprinkled on the interior of this particular wand. Um, and it has everything else like cedar, rosemary, and sage, and um, it's bound by love. And um, it has uh, cute little charms on each one. Every one is unique and very different. And um, and it's a, a really nice uh, piece to have, you know, for your daily uh, protection. Uh, if you uh, do a uh, protection uh, within your home. And so, again, if you guys are interested in this particular uh, spiritual wand, you can get yours today at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And so, with that being said, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cross Watcher. If you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So, let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. So let me go ahead and put this way. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and see. Who is the person that's connecting with my lovely Sagis at this time? Who is connecting to Sagi and love at this time? Let's see. So I definitely see that your person is healing. Um, there's old wounds and childhood issues that needs revisiting. Let's see, is there anything else, Spirit? We have obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Now, this actually come, came up sideways, okay? So, I feel that they're kind of neutral and any kind of blockages that might be uh, going on with your particular person. Um, but I do know this, they're healing. Uh, I feel like it's very specific um, towards uh, something to do with their childhood. And then we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So uh, they're having uh, financial issues and they're playing hard. Uh, find time to laugh and goof off. Okay. And enjoy each other. And also we have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So this is what I'm seeing. Uh, Sag, your person is healing. Okay. If there's blockages or obstacles, I feel like, um, that situation kind of took care of itself. That's what I'm seeing. Now, uh, the only thing that your person is, uh, really having an issue with right now is, uh, maybe money. Okay. Um, that's what I'm seeing. And, um, I feel like uh, for my Saggies that are watching this, you could be in contact with your particular person. And if not, uh, we'll find out, right? But uh, what I'm seeing is that they're accepting that everything happens here for a reason. So let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify the energies of the person that Saggy is connecting with at this time? Who is Sag connecting with at this time?
Who is the person that's connecting with Sag at this time? Please clarify. Five cards, please, Spirit. Wow, is that five? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Damn. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So, wow, we have here a wealthy man. So I definitely feel like maybe your person is a banker um, or maybe uh, they're a financial officer. Um, take it as it resonates. Uh, what I'm seeing here is that there's challenges that is affecting this connection. It could be their job, okay? Maybe uh, their finances uh, is a big issue right now. Um, it could be a job situation, though. Also, we have here a family, uh, a family room, but it came up in reverse. So um, the thing I'm feeling is that your person is healing from maybe getting out of a family situation or a home situation and maybe uh, finances um, could be a factor in, in your person's physical life. I also see here a pathway. So uh, the path is clear. There's no longer obstacles in your particular person. I feel like uh, when it comes to making a decision, they've decided to change and they're actually working on it. Also, we have a thief. Okay, uh, what I'm seeing here is that your person feels like something um, was really taken from them and um, they're trying to uh, accept what is. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Everything happens for a reason. So something was taken from them. It could be money. I feel like they're healing because maybe they just got out of a relationship uh, with a karmic. Okay. Now I feel like your person has ascended. And finally, we have a privileged lady, but it came up in reverse. And what I'm getting with this is that um, they, they feel like it's time to just, you know, be playful. So honestly, this is what I'm feeling. Sag, uh... I really feel like whoever uh, your person is, I feel like they got out of a, a situation with the family. Now, this could be with their own personal family for some, you know, like their own, um, you know, parents per se. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that your person got a divorce, uh, but I really feel like um, there's family involved here, okay, that is interfering in the connection between you and them. And um, maybe for some, they rely on your person for money. Okay, because the family is going through some hardship, but I feel like your person is healing. They're trying to, to uh, get themselves uh, out of that situation where the family is codependent on your person for a material gain. And I see that um, they're starting to clear these obstacles, which is really good. They're accepting uh, for the fact that whatever this uh, karmic family is, um, you know, yes, they took money from them, but money is a material thing. They're really uh, becoming more spiritual in nature. That's that's really good. And I just see that your person really wants to open up and play with you. So it's not about the money. Your person is really wanting to actually open up towards their spiritual self. And that's actually really good. So let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me? What is the general overall energy of the person connecting with Sag? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? Let's see. So there's something that they're seeing, okay, that they want to tell you the truth. And the truth is, is that they're, they're making plans and uh, they're taking action. They want to tell you what they have been hiding or holding back on. So I definitely feel like you guys uh, could uh, actually have a conversation. And for one, it's a divorce. Okay, like I said, it could be a divorce. For others, uh, they know that um, they were treated unfairly in a situation where they had to pay pay something uh, towards a, a particular individual. Um, I see within a month, your person may be coming through and offering you um, a love uh, offer. Um, but right now they're feeling stuck. Now I feel like they need time and I feel like it, they need about eight more days um, to kind of get out of this situation. And uh, so they can choose this uh, relationship with you. Right now things are a little bit blocked and they can't really see 
about you know what decision they need to make uh, in regards to you and I I see that you know everything that they plan for never really comes into fruition and uh, they keep thinking about the past that they need to resolve their past issues and really let go of trying to take care of everyone this is what I'm feeling okay so I know that this is not going to resonate with every single Saggy out there but so far there is a family where your person is um like the the breadwinner right like uh whoever his family or her family is they look up to your person uh for financial stability okay uh that's what i'm feeling and your person feels obligated you know to take care of this family and i see that they want to offer you uh something in the physical yeah they want to grow with you and um they're trying to get out of their head about being stuck. Now, I feel like your person has um, unblocked themselves. They re recently um, are healing from this uh, family that's been tying them down. I feel like, you know, they're either getting out of a family situation or they told the family, look, I can't do this anymore. And yeah, it's because of a codependency. And I also see that they're not very clear about how they can communicate how they feel towards you and um, they've been really thinking about this so I feel like you guys have been in separation and your person really hasn't been expressive um, about how much they really want to reconcile with you at this time for some it's been three years okay um, they've been really looking at you know the time and I really feel like you know within the year your person really wants to work on the situation to come forward towards you and work things out uh, yeah, I just feel like, you know, um, they had to uh, really be by themselves, even though that they had to entertain this third party situation. Uh, they knew that uh, you had, uh, you know, your love to offer to them, but they couldn't take your love at the time. And it was because of their ego, you know, and I, I feel like your person had too much going on in their life. So uh, they feel like it's not the time to really pursue this connection and it could have been in the past two months okay and i see that now your person is really making the decision uh to really contemplate what it is that they really want and they see that they need to work more on themselves than anything else so it's not about the family it's not about you it's about them and they're healing their family issues that's actually a really good thing and uh, they realize that because of that, they've lost money. They accepted that the family was taking so much of their time, focus, energy, and attention. And they feel left down to cold. They feel like they were left with nothing. And they realize that they couldn't let this go. Because they're emotionally manipulated. Oh, you know, how could you do this? We're family. Yeah. Yeah, but your person is deciding that th this is not the way to go. You know, for some, I feel like your person uh, had to take care of the family or actually live with the, their parents. Okay. Um, and then, you know, one thing led to another. It's like, you know, they were, um, you know, just providing, you know, uh, contributing to the household income. And so I see that now they have the courage to speak their truth about what it is that they want okay and love and I feel like they're being patient to make a decision so they can you know send you a message you know this is like a really small message that I'm seeing you know so I feel like your person is finally getting out of a situation with a karmic and I feel like it's a karmic family it's, it's more than one person here okay that's what I'm saying so that's good I feel like your person is going to contact you and why find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other you know that's actually really good so let's see now they're thinking that um they need time to really work on themselves that is their wish and they realize that they were being selfish only thinking of themselves okay and they feel like um they had to be cold towards you 
um, because uh, they're being manipulated by a family member. This could be a spouse. This could be a, a mother. It could be work. Okay. Take it as it resonates. And I see that um, they needed a uh, time to really reflect on themselves, their insecurities, their doubts about um, what they think, what they believe. And what they believe is they were foolish. You know, they were taken for a fool, you know, and they couldn't really make decisions up for themselves. I feel like um, your person always looked towards their family to make the decision for them. And it, it's been like a, um, a situation where your person needed to heal an aspect of themselves because I feel like um, that's something that they learned since childhood, right? That's what that feels like. And right now, um, I feel like they're putting an ending towards this family situation, okay, and they're healing. I feel like it's so that they can have a longevity with you. Right now, um, they're unblocking themselves because they're actually getting out of a commitment. And um, they're not happy. I see that um, they're walking away to manifest. Um... I feel like they're still holding on to you and I see that they made a decision to just work on their financial situation because they can't offer you much right now so I feel like your person is getting out of this karmic situation they can't offer your relationship right now but I do see that they will contact you this is a small form of communication but it's not a promise of a relationship I really feel like uh, they're actually getting out of this situation so that they can be financially secure and independent before they can actually uh, date you or make make any kind of promises but they feel like they need to more, more or less work more on themselves rather than on, on, you know, on other people. So your person's more focused on them and their spiritual growth. That's what it feels like. And that's actually really good. That That's really good. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look down on that, that aspect about themselves. So let's see, Sperry, can you please reveal to me? What are the messages that your person like to say? What are the messages that your person like to say? Am I good enough for you? Oh my God, see? Negative self-talk. Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. I know it might be too late by the time I figure it out. I know they're taking too long, right? But, they, you know, give them some time. I see that they're doing it. Look, I'm working towards a better future. Yes, they are. I'm confirming this. I see it. So just, just give them some time, okay? They will reach out and connect with you, but don't expect a relationship out of this conversation. I just feel like they're just going to check in and flirt with you, you know? But it, it's nothing major. There are still so many unsaid things between us. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's what I'm saying. And, you know, baby steps, right? You know, just take it slow with this one. Okay, Saggy, I know, I know you, you like to like go to places and stuff like that, but your person really needs time to heal. So if you understand that and you love them, you would give them the time and space for them to work on themselves. Because I see that this person is healing. That's the important part. If they're truly working on themselves and they're working on healing, uh, you know, uh, something that's uh, really prohibiting them for having a relationship, they're actually working on it, okay? So you will want them to be healed before they can actually come forward towards you. And that's what I'm saying. So taking care of the karmic situation first before they can give a hundred to you. And I think that's great. <laughs> so let's see. Sperry, can you please reveal to me what is the, uh, the guidance that you have for Saggy? So if this reading has resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you're subscribed, uh, make sure you hit the all bell notification uh, to make sure that you receive all, all the readings uh, that I put out. And so let's see, what is your guidance for today? Wow, look at this, seeing beyond. 
So this is the third eye. Let's see. You know, it, it's going to work out. That's what I'm seeing. It means vision, the capacity to imagine something, to look beyond the material, beyond the obvious, the realm of the transpersonal, options and possibilities, getting out of your own way and discarding your projected outcomes. Do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know? Or can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential? We are all gifted with the magical ability of imagination. And we and when we open it, we become a conduit for a divine vision greater than our own. There are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from face value perspective. What you see is what you get. The second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't yet exist in the material world in this cosmic playground of possibilities you see into the future where anything you imagine has the potential to become real if you use your imagination faithfully and consciously uh, avoiding the traps of fearful projection and drama you can connect to any reality uh, you truly want to experience. When you open yourself even further, you're often gifted with a divine vision. As a practice, you can reimagine uh, that vision over and over to strengthen it. As you channel these visions through you, you become a superconductor for the world. Today, know what your vision is what you imagine forming in the invisible will be delivered into the material world don't worry about the timing of things that is in the hands of the universe your job is to continue to imagine take steps uh, forward and then imagine some more the universe job is to make it real what a fabulous partnership what did i say it's it's baby steps with this person i see that they're slowly working their way towards you sag okay and it's up to you to open up your third eye chakra to uh, receive this uh, transmission or this uh, message or download that's coming through so spirit is saying your person's working on it they may not come to you right now it may not be next month right but depending on whatever your your timeline is your person will you just have to see beyond the reality of what things are playing out in this now moment i see your person may come out and and contact you with a playful message now it's not going to be a complete reunion right with this individual but at least they're going to reach out and say something and and you know and that is actually good and i really feel like it's really healthy uh for your person to come to you in this way especially if they're stuck in a karmic relationship with the family so that's what i have for you uh saggy let me know if that resonated thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye